Hello friends, welcome to another video on knowledge sharing series from iTrack Solutions. In our previous videos, we have covered seven QC tools. Some of the seven QC tools like Pareto chart, scatter diagram. In this video, we are going to cover one of the very commonly used seven QC tools, check sheet. Check sheet is a very simple data collection form or a data collection template designed to collect quantitative data from the location where this data get generated, generally from Gemba. And Kara Yoshikawa, a very famous Japanese quality expert, has classified this check sheet into four categories. Check sheet used to identify the probability distribution of the data. Check sheet used to identify the defect type, defect location, defect causes. In this video, we will understand about each of this with some examples. First, we'll look at the check sheet used to identify the probability distribution of a process. In this check sheet, we are measuring the diameter of a mission to component, pin diameter. So the specification limit uh, for this particular pin diameter is 1.6 mm to 2.7 mm. So what do you see here? So this axis, so this is your uh, diameter requirement. And this is number of samples falling in each category. This is total of this count. So let me tell you how this check sheet will get filled. So if I pick up one of my mission to components, measure the diameter, and if I identify that diameter, let's say as 1.3 mm. So here, if you see in 1.3 mm, I will put one line. Similarly, I pick up my next sample. If that is 1.6, then I will put a line at 1.6. I pick up one more. If that falls under 3.3, I put a line here. So similarly, all my samples, I'll measure the diameter and then I will see that particular diameter falls in which of these frequency distribution intervals. And I will put a line there. And when I complete doing this inspection for all my samples, you will be able to see that I have created a checklist which gives me a fair idea of what is the probability distribution of the data that I am studying. So this tool will be very useful for you to convert your raw data into a histogram. Right. So in our uh, seven QC tools, we are planning to have another video on histogram. So we'll understand more about it. But this checklist, the probability distribution checklist is the first step towards converting your raw data into a histogram. And the next type of checklist or check sheet is check sheet to identify defect type. So in this example, if you see in the middle of my work, I get a lot of phone calls. So I call it as telephonic interruptions. So every day when I'm working, I get telephonic interruptions. So what I do, I create a checklist. And from tomorrow onwards, as I receive a call, which is interrupting my work, I will fill this checklist to understand what type of call it is. Is it a wrong number? Is it somebody calling to get some information from me? Is it a call from my boss? Is it a call from my friend? So I will be able to track the defect by its type. Because when I'm in the middle of the work, a phone call which is interrupting me, it's a kind of a defect. So what type of defect it is? So I'm collecting the defect by type over time. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And you'll also be able to identify some patterns which we will understand during our another video about stratified analysis, which is also part of a 7QC tool. So you will find more calls from your boss during the beginning of the week, you will find more calls from your friends or family members towards Thursday, Friday. So to understand all these trend, all these, you know, uh, root causes changing over a period of time, this kind of checklist will be very useful. And the next one is defects by location. So this is a checklist used in an automobile company. So in an automobile company painting department where they paint the door of a car, after the painting is completed, they use a check sheet to identify the defect location. So when they identify defects like bubble, a scuff mark or a ren, so these are all defect type and they want to know where exactly the defect is in this job. So what we call this as a door of a car is a job supposed to be painted. There are defects and where do you get more defects and what kind of defects is happening in which defect location. So this is what we call it as a check sheet to measure or collect data with respect to its location. And the next type of check sheet is defect by cause. So in a contact center, I get a lot of customer complaint calls. Okay, so what are these customer complaint calls are all about or what is the root cause of this? 
so customer complaint calls because of wrong orders because of you know uh, reworked orders late delivery shipping damage late payment refund not you know credited so these are all different causes because of which i get customer complaint calls and how again these calls are you know uh, are these calls because of these different reasons is it the same throughout the week or it has a different role in each day of the week all these kind of stratified analysis is possible provided if we are able to create a check sheet which can capture this information so friends let me quickly summarize right check sheet as i told is a very simple but very effective form or a tool that we use to collect data from gemba the place where the action happens this is used to collect the quantified data about a particular problem and then we can use the data to do further analysis and this check sheet broadly classified into four categories check sheet used to identify the probability distribution of the underlying data check sheet used to identify the defect type defect cause and defect location and why this check sheet is very useful because when you create a check sheet and people started using it we will start using a very standardized simple but effective approach of collecting data with appraisers changing in morning shift evening shift still we will be able to collect data in the same way generally if we don't have this kind of a systematic way of collecting data sometimes we may overlook or we may not collect we forget to collect some data so all these things get covered by using check sheet and once you are familiar how to use check sheet then what you can do is you will be able to come up with a data collection plan so in a continuous improvement project during the measure phase uh, whether it is a dmac approach or a dma dv approach or a seven step qc story approach data collection is a very important step and for us to plan for a good data collection we need to create a data collection uh, plan template i have created something which is very simple so if you see here i have listed down the metric which need to be collected and then i have categorized the data type so people who are not familiar about data type we have already uploaded a video uh, in our channel about uh, different types of data so you can look into that video to understand about types of data so here we have we are already listed the measurement the data type operational definition who is supposed to collect it and then we have listed a series of identifiers what is an identifier if you want to do a stratified analysis i already told in the video uh, we will post a separate video on what is stratified analysis if you want to do a very detailed stratified analysis breakdown by day of the week then i need to know what is the day breakdown by day of the month <coughs> who is the shift supervisor who is the maintenance officer who is the operator so only when i collect, collect all these kind of information then i will be able to make a proper analysis then i can also have a <coughs> sorry i can also have a, a statistical or a graphical tool to monitor this data i can list down the frequency in which this data need to be collected i can also have the location or the station or the report from which this data is going to be collected what should be the target value for this data so this is what we call it as data collection plan and we can have this data collection plan created for my project y metric which we call it as our a ctq or a ctd metric critical to quality or critical to delivery or critical to cost metric which is your primary metric your project is focused to improve along with that you can also collect data for excess which is your input or process parameters which impact your output metric so for that also you can create a data collection plan and once you create a data collection plan each line item from the data collection plan will then further be converted into a data collection sheet so whatever you have created as identifiers whatever you have created as the metric to be collected you will be able to convert it into a data collection sheet and then hand it over to your appraisers or elo built uh, team members in your project who are going to do this data collection for you so friends i hope this uh, video is useful for you to understand what is a check sheet what are the different types of check sheet what are the uses of check sheet and once you are very familiar with how to identify the right check sheet to be used under right condition you will be able to create a very good data collection plan and subsequently convert the data collection plan into a uh, data collection sheet which is a very very important step in your continuous improvement project whichever methodology you follow the data plays a very important role so for you to collect the data effectively uh, this uh, data collection plan and check sheet 
you need to have a fair understanding of what these two are. So thank you friends. Thanks for your time. So we will be coming up with more videos uh, on knowledge sharing from iTrack Solutions. Uh, in our series of seven QC tools, with this video, we have covered the three tools, Pareto chart, Scatpygram, and check sheet. The other tools will also be covered. Uh, so look forward, uh, looking forward to upload those videos as well. So thank you for your time.